Woke up this morning, car wouldn't start. Fun times. <laughs> Two o'clock in the afternoon, 4.30 this morning, John just ended up taking my van, leaving the car here. We were gonna try to figure out what was wrong with it. I've not done anything but sit and try to wait for my cousin to come help me figure out what was wrong because John literally had like two minutes before he had to leave so he really didn't look at the, van, the car, he just took the van and left. He was like, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it when I get there. Well, I can't do that. I've got to sit and stress and worry. So my cousin came over and when he got here, he was like, your battery's bad. So spent money we absolutely did not have and got a battery and now the car's running. John is still at work. Mamaw was released from the hospital about 20 minutes ago. The car still wasn't working yet, so Emily drove and picked her up and is driving her back to her house. She's gonna get her car and then she's gonna stop by here and pick up TT. Speaking of TT, she has refused to eat the entirety of the time she's been here, which has been two days. She will not eat. So I'm glad mom is finally out of the hospital for obvious reasons, but also because I'm trying to keep her dog from starving to death. But she's not making it easy on me. Katniss is literally driving me to drink all day today. She has ran out this front door. She's not allowed outside. And she has ran out this front door like four times I've had to chase her because we had to keep going back and forth in and out for the car. No joke, she keeps running out like I'm about to cut her legs off. <laughs> kids go out now that we're in the city but they have just made some friends with some neighbors <sighs> and this is like one of the first times I've gotten to see our kids use their imagination and have fun outside since last year and it's nice it's really really nice it's almost six o'clock so it's almost time for John to come home from work and today I made something really good for dinner because it is no joke so freaking cold and just dreary today so i made a small loaf of homemade cornbread and loaded baked potato soup i am excited you please quit whining about going outside you're not going out no ma'am she snuck out like three or four times today and she keeps like begging Please let me go outside. This is why I am giving her to Big Bear. It's not because I don't love her. It's because I love her is the reason I'm giving her away. She wants to be out there getting into something and can't. Well, leave it to butter. <laughs> out there beating a tree. I can't tell you guys how Good it does my heart to see my kids be wild again. This little girl is missing her mama. T. What's your smile? T. And <laughs> she is going to go home at some point. But I actually got her to eat today. This afternoon I heated her up her chicken and rice. So I ate a little bit. Come on. So I ate a little bit and now I'm feeling a little bit better. But I'm still missing old mamma. Still missing mamma. So today is Sunday and we just got home from church. 
Mom stopped by. I did not film and ask her to tell you guys what happened, but basically she does, did not have a heart attack. Thank God for that. But they discovered that she has, oh, let's see, an enlarged heart, a thickened wall on one side, three of her valves, um, they don't close properly, so it's, you know, pushing blood back into the heart. And she's got two very rare heart conditions. So there's that. <laughs> so she definitely is going to be seeing a cardiologist more often, but she did not have a heart attack. She's feeling a little better. She's really, really tired. That's kind of why I didn't film her is just because she is very tired. So she's headed home. She finally got tea. Thank God. Uh, tea's adorable. Don't get me wrong, but she is needy. But mom's at home all the time alone with her so she can get a needy dog. But I've got too much stuff going on to deal with a needy dog. And she's been needy. And on top of that, not only is she needy, I'm having to deal with her and Katniss wanting to fight. So I'm glad that that's, glad that's done out and over with. So I'm going to go in here and meal prep. And you guys can come along with me if you'd like. Because Josh needs his food today. And um, John needs his. So let's Where's get she at? Katniss Everdeen, stop running out the door. You are not allowed outside. Crazy psycho. I would let you go out if I could, but I can't. Stop running out every single time somebody opens the door. You're crazy. Now that I got Mrs. Crazy Pants back in the house, let's get to meal prepping and cleaning this nasty kitchen. We're doing a Harry Potter marathon. Yes. Oh yeah. We're gonna watch one in movie a night. So we watched them all. So there you have it. That's the last two days. I'm gonna head back in here and watch the movie with everybody. So until tomorrow, love you bye.